Yo, what's up, guys? It's Brother Shield here. Today, we're going to test out a uh, game that I think I've already tested, but no, no, I don't think I've tested technically. So, let me just um, quickly see to the settings real quick. Yeah, it didn't really work out. So, um, my last game I just tested. So, what, go what we're going to test today is, um, or the second part, well, the first, the second, really, is Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. So we've done the two thrones, so but we haven't really done what we were in. Well, I think I have bound the dolphin emulator. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I haven't. I'll do a test on that as well. So I just want to see how the warrior within would work with um the Dynaman PS2 Pro. Okay, it's very slow. So again, we're gonna start with the slowest and then work our way up to the fastest. Okay, a lot of stutter. We're getting 60, but there's a lot of stutter. Baby, okay, it's definitely the game. We're getting 60 frames per second, but a lot of glitches. So let's just start a new game. By the way, I already have Prince of Persia. I mean, I've already completed the entire game. Uh, the PSP, no, I, no, technically I didn't finish the PSP. I finished the iOS. I did finish the PSP actually. Um, port the PSP port version of the game. I finished the iOS per, per, per version of the game because it was available. This game was ported on iOS, but it was never ported to Android. Uh, so, and it, this is a good thing about emulators. Uh, there are some things that um, there are some mods that you cannot play, um, like GTA San Andreas. Oh, what the hell is going on? Sorry, I don't know what just happened there. Uh, so, um, actually, you know what? Before 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 we continue. Because uh, there was an issue with um, Prince of Persia. We cannot go in-game. We ended up trying having to retry. But I want to see if at least we can get the cutscenes out. So what I'm going to do is enable uh, this. I don't want it to crash. And then let's try this again. What are we then? Okay. So as I was saying. um, Wait. What was I saying? P yeah. Um, Two of Thrones crashed uh we couldn't get in game so warrior within is using pretty much the same engine uh as uh two thrones so i'm not expecting any gameplay but at least let's try and get the cutscene so yeah everything's still set to the slowest uh what was i saying i'm trying to remember uh you'll be soft I've tested this out, uh, probably on the dolphin. Da, 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 da. Oh, wh I, when it comes back up, when it comes back to me, it comes back to me. So, Do need to fix this emulator. Oh, damn it! I completely forgot what I was gonna say. I'm trying to remember. I've completed the iOS. Oh yeah, it was never ported onto and oh yeah, mods. That's it. Um, San Andreas, like GTA San Andreas. There was a little thing I wanted to talk about. Like uh, the hot coffee mod, for instance. Well, on the Android, you can only get a mod called Street Love. You can't get the hot coffee mod. All right. So I was wrong. That disabling thing does do something. All right. So uh, as I was saying, um, the PS2 emulator does allow you to do some modding because it obviously is an emulator. However, if there's an Android version of it, is I think it's harder to mod different files. Different device, so loading. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. Yep, I think it crashed. Okay, so it's safe to say that this game is somewhat unplayable. I want to try something actually. Thirty hertz, sixty hertz. 
So, yeah, I think this video is going to be more of a talk, talk through. So, as I was saying, the good thing about emulator, even though there's an Android version out, um, there are some mods that you can't do on the Android version com relative to down the PC or, or the PS2. So, on the PS2 emulator, there are some mods you can do. There are some, in fact, there are mods that you can do on the PS2 emulator, whereas on the Android, um, you can't. So, I was, I was using GTA as an example, like the hard coffee mod. Uh, you can't really have the hard coffee mod on the Android version, but on the emulator, that's a different story. So that's another reason why people may choose the emulated version over the Android version. But anyway, uh, let's hopefully, hopefully we get in game this time. Just wanted to test one thing. Uh, I have a feeling it's not gonna work. Going fast though. Main menu is really fast compared to um two thrones. I can barely even move I can barely even move to the letting. Alright. Yeah, we can't have that music playing. Well, at least the cutscene somewhat works. A king and his son have defeated a mighty empire, inheriting an extravagant hourglass and a mysterious dagger that contained the mystical powers of the sands of time. Inside the hourglass. Is a marvel that no living man has seen. Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. But when the prince is tricked into releasing an ancient and evil curse, you have unleashed the sands of time. I. no reason to trust my father's army he sacked your palace captured you as a slave you have every reason to hate me now you want me to trust you go on there's no time his power to control time to get the sands back the all right there's an issue the cutscene um, is definitely stuttering well not all of them actually all of them Screw it is all of them doing so unfortunately I don't think we can go in game but we can see some cutscenes or at least some video free form fighting style the revelations oh yeah it was renamed revelations principles of revelations the PSP court at least and uh, the PS people of two songs is also Yeah, the PSP port was also called, um, uh, let, let, let's, try, let's try the game one last time. New game. Oh, no. Yeah, it was called Principles of Revelations, the PSP port, and Rival Swords as well. 
But for the main game, it was Warwick Within and Two Thrones. So, yeah, I don't think we can go in game. We did see some cutscenes though. There is a lot of stutter. Uh, normally, you should just jump straight to the first cutscene and then. Uh, I don't know. Yep, as I feared. We cannot go in game at all. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna pretty much end the video. At least we didn't go empty handed. We got to see some cutscenes, but mostly our signs of time. So, at least we didn't go empty handed, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this quick test. This game definitely needs a lot of improvement, a lot of fixes. So, hopefully, no, in fact, not hopefully, it's gonna take forever. Perhaps they will fix it, but it's gonna take them forever. But, anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this test in the comments below. And if you guys have a suggestion of a game you wanna see running on the TV, Again, let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, you know what it is. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.